Hey everyone, I wanted to take a minute and take a look at how I set up my computer to get things done. Uh, this past winter, I took a little bit of time, I saw the new Apple event, and I thought that I wanted to take a little bit of time and sort of upgrade my, my Macs, uh, but not by going out and spending thousands of dollars. I basically went online, bought new SSD hard drives, uh, uninst you know, installed a new SSD hard drive, maxed out the RAM, put new battery, uh, new battery in my MacBook Pro, and then this is my iMac. I did the same thing with the iMac. I put in an SSD, uh, saved the hard drive, and uh, upgraded or maxed out the RAM. So I'll I'll show you what I did. But it also gives me a time to a chance to look at how I set my computer up so I can try and get things done. Um, I see a lot of different people's laptops and computer screens. Um, and I'm always amazed at how much clutter they have and it sort of annoys me. Um, and so I wanted to do a quick video on how I set things up to hopefully help you out. So one of the first things I want to show you is if I look at the Mac, um, this is an older Mac mini. Um, you know, I have a MacBook Pro and a Mac Mini that I uh, sort of overhaul. This is the mid-2011 Mac Mini, so this is a little bit older. Um, actually, a lot older <laughs> compared to some of the new stuff that's out. Um, you'll notice that I maxed out the RAM on this. Um, the startup disk is an SSD, um, so I put in a new hard drive, but then I left the old hard drive in there. So if I leave this, technically this Mac cannot handle Mojave, the newest operating system, um, but I was able to go online and find this Mojave patcher um, that is, it seems like it's mostly used for, uh, the ideas are basically behind like a Hackintosh. Um, so what I did is I follow the steps here and within about 30 minutes, if that, I had both of my machines up and running on the newest operating system. And, and, and I really like it a lot and it runs pretty well for me. So while I'm here, one of the first things I install on my machines is Chrome. I still use Chrome for the most part for all of my work. Um, and so in Chrome, I have the, the typical setup for me. I have it syncing so that wherever I go, it saves um, everything that I've uh, worked on and my bookmarks and everything else. I don't use Google passwords as of yet or Chrome passwords as of yet. I'm thinking about testing it out, but I don't use it right now. I have the extension for my Gmail, have the extension for my work uh, Outlook email. I have my Google Calendar set up so I know in a couple hours I have something to do. Uh, I have Tick Tick set up so that I can keep track of my to-do list. Um, I'm testing that out and I will have a video coming soon. Google Keep I've talked a lot about in the past so I won't spend more time. Nimbus is a screenshot and screen capture tool that I love um, that I definitely recommend um, and, and I'll show you uh, in a future video how I use it. Uh, Bitly is a URL shortener, a uh, way to keep track of URLs that I send out to students and see if they're actually looking at the URLs or not. A typical save to Google Drive uh, extension. I also have uh, DraftBack for looking at Google Docs. I have videos on that in the past. Uh, office editing, so if I'm using my Chromebook or my MacBook Pro and I'm offline, I can work on materials. Uh, but then I also have the other cool things here. I have LastPass set up for my passwords, Hypothesis, um, and then I also use this, this plugin for Instagram so I can upload photos to Instagram from my browser and not have to use my phone. Uh, other cool things here, I have uh, a minimal amount of bookmarks on this. I don't really use bookmarks here. I use another tool, uh, Pinboard. Um, so I have a little bookmarklet so I can share uh, pages out to Pinboard. I also have, um, these are all just uh, photos that my kids sent me. So uh, we use Google Hangouts a lot. So if one of my kids sends me a photo, I bookmark it. And then it's sort of like a break in case of emergency. If I'm having a bad day, I can click a button and there's a photo of my kid uh, a, or, or both of my children. Uh, a good way to sort of like keep us on track and thinking about what's the most important. This wallpaper, uh, this is a Chrome plugin and the button for it, I believe, is right here. So this is Earth View from Google Earth. Um, really great extension. What it will do is it will constantly refresh your page uh, with photos from Google Earth. And then the cool thing is I can look down and see where this was taken. I can look at recent images. And somewhere in here they have a way to share out and, and tweet out and share the links. 
All right, so it's in here. So a really cool way to get new fresh imagery all of the time. So if I close out Google Chrome, one of the things you'll notice is that there's nothing on my desktop and that's by design. I prefer to have everything clean so that when I stop working for the day, I clear out my desktop. Um, it doesn't happen every day, but after a couple days of seeing uh, a stuff, you know, things accumulate on my desktop, I'll clear it off. Uh, technically, I have a dual monitor set up here. Uh, most times I use a computer, I use two monitors. I'm just hooked on a dual monitor, uh, but I'm doing this video just taking a look at the single monitor right now. So I clear everything out. Um, I have the same wallpaper that I use for all of my computers and my phones and all of my devices. This has just been a habit of mine. Um, I prefer not to think about it and just use the same thing all of the time. Uh, I also have a screencast Matic is running and then I have flux running um, so I know that Mojave has their new uh, nightlight built into this um, I forget what it's called but I prefer let's see if I can figure out what it is um, I forget what the dark mode is now I'll, I'll put in the links um, but one of the things that I've noticed is that Flux does a better job, in my opinion, of keeping track of uh, the time of day. And so at night, it will dim my display and change the colors of the display. And then in the morning, it will slowly wake up and brighten up my display. Um, so right now, we're at mid-afternoon. And so it's pretty much running full blast, or at least uh, what I use for my display in color. So that is always an instant add to my computers. Um, if I take a peek over in my area, you'll notice that there's nothing over here. Everything's cleaned out. If I take a look in the finder, um, one of the things that I will typically do is I will clean up the finder a little bit so things don't get lost. Um, I don't really use AirDrop, so I get rid of that. I don't care about the uh, recents. Um, I try to keep things organized and know where they are at all times. The truth of the matter is most of my work is in Google Docs. And so it's a lot easier. I don't have to worry about Word Docs and other applications, um, you know, and figuring out where I save things. I also go in and I'll move my desktop to the top. I will also uh, move a couple different things around. For me, when I come in here, there's two places I want to, uh, there's three places I want to go if I'm going to the Finder. Um, I want to go to my desktop, I want to go to Downloads, um, and then maybe Applications. I don't really ever go to documents, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. Um, but most times I wanna go between desktop and downloads and find something. If I'm looking for an application, I use Spotlight. And so I will hold the command button and the space bar, and I can type in Chrome and use that to launch applications. Um, so most times I'm not going in there to find an application, but it's still, sometimes something's not working right, so I wanna be able to go in and find it. So I'll have my desktop downloads application. While I'm here, uh, here's the SSD uh, that I added in. You can see that I also had the uh, original hard drive there so in my Mac mini I have two hard drives one the the hard drive here is acting as the backup for the SSD um, and most things are running on the SSD which because I just put that Mojave patcher in there's pretty much nothing on other than the OS there in terms of the network um, I'm gonna remove this from the sidebar uh, mainly because I do want to see other computers on the network, but I have other ways to access them. So it doesn't want to disconnect for me now, but I will fix that. Um, I also, previously I tried using a lot of tags with different Mac software, Mac apps, but I've sort of moved away. I feel like it's clutter, at least for me. So one of the things I do is I'll go into preferences for Finder and I will sort of clean things up. Um, so show these items on the hard de on the desktop. I don't want the hard disks over there, um, so I turn that off. So what that will look like is you'll set up your computer and you'll see these hard drives on your desktop. I don't really care to see those. I know that they're there. Um, if an external disk pops up, I wanna see it, a CD or a DVD, I don't remember the last time, or an iPad, I plugged it in. Um, so I'm gonna turn that off. Um, and then connected servers, I don't really care. I know what servers are I'm connecting to at all times. Um, and then when the new finder window should, pops up, I want it to go to the desktop at all times, okay? So other things I'll do is under tags, I'm gonna remove all of these tags 
and you can see that they're disappearing. I feel like it's a little bit cleaner and I don't have to worry about anything. Um, I can uh, tweak things here to show uh, other items in the sidebar. Under advanced, the other thing that I like to keep here is, no, it's up here in view. Um, I like to keep on the, where is it? The view, the path. No, that's not it. Hide path bar. So what I like to do is I like to keep in this view right here. Um, I like that because I'm quickly t moving between different areas. So I might go into users and go into my photos. So I'll go to pictures and try to find things. And I like being able to back out quickly using this uh, path bar. So my desktop right now is blank, my downloads are empty, my uh, SSD has pretty much just the OS, the operating system there, my backup hard drive has all of the materials and photos and stuff that I moved over before I wiped out my hard drive and installed Mac Mojave. Last thing I want to take a look at is the applications. Um, so if I take a look at applications, I have a couple things in here that I use on a regular basis. Um, for screen captures, I use primarily uh, Skitch, and it's not on here yet, but it will be soon. So I use Skitch for most of my uh, screen captures and annotations. It's the one that I, rec I recommend most often for classes. Um, the issue is that Skitch uh, was purchased by Evernote and then sort of phased out. Um, and so Skitch works really well on Mac, it continues to work on Mac in my opinion, um, but I'm always afraid that at some point they're gonna cancel it out. So one of the things that I will also, uh, I've been testing recently is Annotate. Um, Annotate does a, an equally good job in terms of screen captures. The problem is Annotate was also just recently bought and so I'm concerned that at some point that will uh, be deprecated. Uh, the App Store, sometimes I'll grab my apps from the App Store, not all the time. I've been playing a little bit with this code editor uh, recently, not really much to say about it yet. I have most of the usual uh, Mac garbage apps in here. I use Cro Calculator quite a bit, but the Calendar I don't use, Chess I don't use, Automator or Books I don't use, uh, the Dashboard I do not use. Um, most of these things I don't use. FaceTime, I always have to disconnect it because we use the same Mac password and account that my wife uses for her Apple phones, uh, for her iPhone, and so I have to always shut it off because then I'm getting messages from her and her friends. Uh, Flux, as I mentioned before. Uh, the font book, Google Chrome, I gave you a tour of. Home, I haven't used uh, yet with the Mac. Most of my uh, uh, Internet of Things devices and home devices are all through Google, so I don't really use this. Uh, image capture I have not used iMovie, this is the older version of iMovie that I download mainly to play with video editing with my kids. And if I need quick, uh, relatively uh, uh, relatively easy video edits, I'll use iMovie. Don't really use iTunes at all or Launchpad at all. Uh, mail, Maps, Messages, all of these I don't ever use. Don't really use any of these. I added in. Um, I added in numbers and pages and slides. Is that what it's called? Uh, whatever the Mac oh, keynote. Uh, so I added the Mac apps for work, the Microsoft Office version. Really don't use them at all, but it, it's helpful to every once in a while I will get a Word doc that I have to edit or an Excel file that I have to tweak. Um, and it doesn't quite work in uh, Google Drive. And so I'll use these Mac apps and they work relatively well. Google Photos I still uh, use and love. I will plug in our mirrorless camera to, the, to, the, to this iMac uh, as a way to organize our photos and save our photos. Uh, Pixelmator, I bought it a couple years ago. I use it two, three times a month. It's a really good photo editing software. Uh, there's a iPad version as well that I use. I use Mac Preview about a dozen times a day to look at PDFs or look at images or crop images. Um, QuickTime Player, I use it about three, four times a week um, just to look at video, look at short video clips or edit video clips. Uh, reminders don't really use, Safari don't use, Screencast-O-Matic, I use this two, three times a week. Scrivener, I've been starting to use again or hoping to use again. 
Um, I don't really use it for writing uh, my academic pieces. What I'm doing is uh, experimenting with writing of um, you know, novels and fictional pieces. So if I write that, I want to have a place to save my work over time and keep myself organized when there might be days or weeks until I get back to writing. Uh, I turned off Siri on this um, because I thought it was annoying and I didn't want it taxing and waiting. Uh, I didn't want it taxing my resources on the computer and waiting for me all the time. Don't use stickies. I use Google Keep. Don't use stocks. Uh, tick tick. I will do a video on in the future. The unarchiver is just a way to unlock. I mean, not unlock, but uh, unzip uh, files that are all compressed. Uh, text edit. I will use sometimes system preferences, utilities, the usual things. Um, I want to use voice memos more often, but I don't. Uh, time machine. I use a lot. I'm just trying to set up time machine now to back up to the internal hard drive as opposed to an external one that I plugged in. So right now it's plugged into an external couple of things to take a look at while we're here. So under general, uh, one of the things I love about Mojave is that I can use the dark theme. Uh, so the dark theme setup, really love it. Um, and so I pretty much leave everything here as is. Um, not really much to change. I don't know anything else in here that's worth taking a peek at. You can see how I set up my displays. Uh, don't use mission control as much. I do have it set up so when I swipe on my mouse, I can see all open displays. And if I swipe down, I can look at my desktop. I think that that's a super powerful trick. Uh, that's one of my secret powers that I use all the time. Uh, security, privacy, not really anything to see there. Spotlight, I use about 30 times a day just to find apps and load apps. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think that dark display that I talked about before was um, in there. So for the most part, that's the only thing. Here's how you turn off Siri. So I went in and when I was uh, starting up the software and installing, I basically turned off Siri and didn't have it start up um, with system start. So once again, this is the way that I set up my computer. My MacBook Pro is set up the exact same way, all of the same apps, same wallpaper. I try to keep the desktop clear as well. Um, and the purpose of this is to have a clean workspace that there's not a lot of clutter. Um, and so I can come over here and I can recognize things that are out of the ordinary. So I can quickly come in and say, well, what did I download? Oh, I remember that I have to install this. I did that in the middle of the video. Um, but the, the nice thing is that I can sit down and I can uh, have nothing running, not a lot of garbage on my screen. And then after I log in, I can basically go right to Chrome and get up and running and start working and head over to Google Drive or head over to email or whatever it is that I need to do for the day. But it sort of helps me keep some sanity. Um, and I know that when I get in to do work, I can just do work. Um, so that's a, a, a very in-depth view of how I set up my computer and how I use uh, my Mac to get things done. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I messed up on or if there's a video in the future that you would like to see that would be helpful. But hopefully uh, that was enjoyable to you and you have some ideas for things you might want to do with your computer. So thanks again for watching.